you're gonna see, yeah, there's similar, there's a height difference. And when you're the striker and you got a little bit of re uh, reach, that can make a big difference. When those punchers are coming without the benefit of a glove, <laughs> might change that. Yeah, that bone shreds the skin, right? That sharp, jagged knuckle bones uh, shreds the skin. So let's see, Dan's just, I don't know how much money he put on it, but, but he's thinking that Medina will be looking to grab the body earlier, sooner than later. 45 seconds, I think you said. All right, well, we're 15 seconds in, and she's throwing a kick and touching it up a little bit, and there, there she goes. 18 seconds into it, Dan, you are accurate, and she does successfully get that takedown. Now moving into half guard pressure with the right shoulder. Certainly where she wants to be here. Good pressure with the shoulder there. You know, if you control the head, you control the body. Yeah, the, the skeleton, you know, yeah, you can control it from either end, but from the from the jawbone, it's tough. Look, now she's gonna just chill, take her time, and, and watch for her own, you know, the best spot for her hips to control her. She'd be better off with that elbow, with that shoulder pressure to try to turn the head a little bit to the to the side to better control the body. But she's doing a good job of trying to knife that leg through and get the pass. Link said, yeah, you know, I do jujitsu, but that's not really my thing. And when uh, Lupe mentioned that it was her debut, she, she made a face like, it's not my debut, but as a mixed martial artist, it is. She has fought in, in all kinds of striking games. Look at this now. Bare knuckle, bare elbow. Trap the arm, yeah. good position to do ground and pound. Really good position to do ground and pound. Heavy on the left thigh and elbowing away. This is a different game than when you're up on your feet, punching and kicking. And I know a lot of people that are just way more comfortable doing ground and pound from a half guard. You see her guards mm. wide open, she's not passing. She probably feels more comfortable posting up and doing her ground and pound right there. Just sitting the weight on the thigh and controlling her there. Man, she is three and a half minutes is a long time to, and look at the, the shin. Yeah, you, you're right. You see that knee slide, she could slide her leg through, but she's selecting not to. It's not a grappling match. Yeah, right. It is a elbowing match. Now the head and arm choke down. Uh, she, if she slides across to the other side, she could have it there, absolutely. It looks like that's what she's cinching up. You know, we've seen it finished from mount. We've seen it finished from all types of position. But yeah, you're, you see it right there, trying to slide through. The buck comes. She almost got bucked off there. That's the danger when you try to when you try to switch positions there, as opposed to standing where you're staying where you are and doing the ground and pound. Two and a half minutes, that's a tough ride for your first half of a bare knuckle uh, MMA fight, but Link hanging in there. It looks like Link's playing with a little bit of an anaconda from the bottom, which some people can try from there, but that's a real tough position to, to hit. Yeah. Shin on the face is legal. Knuckles to the eye socket, also legal. Not looking to make friends here. <laughs> But you see, you see it's a little more awkward trying to land ground and pound from side control or from north-south where she is because you have to hold your opponent down at the same time as opposed to when she's in half guard, it naturally keeps her there. Medina is playing a real ornery grappling game. I know she trained a lot with Alan Belcher. And uh, he's, Alan Belcher is an aggressive ornery grappler as well. You see the placement of the shin. Now back to the, the head and arm on the other side now. Can we tell our guys in there, you're not there to make friends. <laughs> you're, there to, you're there to do damage. What's going on with her right arm now? Underneath. It's an trapped. interesting grip. Uh, trapped. Look at the right arm trapped in the thigh. Oh, freed it now. Yeah, because she's looking for the choke. She's not yeah. concerned about that. She's got she it now. Passing to that side. And she's looks, trying it from the mount, like you said. Some people can get it from there, but it's, it's really tough. Jessica Link is certainly not giving up these chokes. Uh, now just trying to keep her close chest to chest and take away the gap where she can strike. And this is bare knuckle MMA, and you're, you've got mount. You need to start rain, raining down some bare knuckle shots. God, yeah. People will notice, and you'll hear it from the athletes. Maybe some that you speak to. You know, the the hand is a fragile weapon, and uh, when you're hitting bone and you're hitting skull, it's gonna hurt you too. But this is tough now. One minute remaining in round one. Medina on top. Great position for her. She just needs to keep raining down a few more shots. And this will not likely get the stop. Medina, I look for the arm. Will she look for the arm bar? How do you give up top position yeah, like that? Right. You know, it's a very smart, very yeah. smart by Medina. Yeah. To just stay with the ground. That's how you finish the fight. So Monica Medina gets her first win in three tries here in her home of Biloxi, Mississippi.